Hello again, Martin Road friends. Um, we are back for our third week of our craft videos. I wish I would have kept this filming because I have had some uh, at-home craft fails this morning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process to hopefully help you avoid these craft fails. But what we're going to be making today are some at-home stress balls, okay? So I have a couple of different options um, for how you can do this. You can get creative if you don't have all of the supplies at home. Um, but some reasons that we might need to use our stress balls at home, we might be feeling stress about when we're going to go back to school, about trying to figure out how to work virtually, online. Um, we might be seeing our moms and dads have some stress about everything that's going on. Um, and stress is really just when our body doesn't know how to handle what's going on. We might get hot, we might feel anxious, um, we might get angry and act out. Okay, so our stress balls kind of work to help us calm back down, okay? They give us something to focus on um, and a way to kind of get our mind off of whatever it is that's bothering us, okay? So I have a couple of different things that we're going to use for our stress balls today, okay? My crafting fail came from this cornstarch mixture that I tried, which was supposed to be liquidy enough to be able to pour into a balloon, but it was not. So what I did was I took my balloon, okay? and I cut off the top of it, okay? So I cut off this little part right here, all right? What I did then was I got down and dirty and I dug out some of my cornstarch mixture, okay? So you can see it's kind of like a Play-Doh consistency, all right? And then I just stretched open my balloon and I just kind of shoved it down in there, okay? Now, you can use a rubber band to tie this shut. You can pull it shut with your fingers if you can get it there. You can use a zip tie, whatever you want, okay? I'm just going to kind of twist it for a minute so you guys can see that it's nice and thick, okay? So it really produces that effect of giving me something to squeeze, okay? Whether I'm feeling angry, whether I'm feeling upset, whether I'm feeling stressed, I'm really squeezing my muscles, okay? If you guys don't have any of these supplies at home, you can also do what I call a lemon squeezing activity. So you can pretend like you have two lemons in your hands and you're just squeeze, squeeze, squeezing as hard as you can, even so that you can feel your muscles up here really tighten up, okay? All right, the second one that I did was, had this water bottle handy, so I filled it with some rice, some little pieces of rice, okay? And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stretch my balloon over the top. Okay, if your cornstarch mixture comes out okay, you can use this water bottle to pour it into the balloon, okay? The mixture is supposed to be two cups cornstarch, one cup water, and then it's supposed to kind of make like a slime-like consistency, okay? But anyways, I'm going to dump the rice down into my balloon here. Just kind of stretch it out so that it all is getting down in, maybe at home craft fail number two. And you just kind of have to finagle it down all the way down into the bottom, okay? Once you get that done, same thing, you can tie it up and you can feel it. This one is a little bit more of a textured kind of stress ball, okay? So you can move the little rice pieces around, whatever you'd like to do, okay? The third one that I have, we're gonna see if this will work. The third idea that I have is throwing in some marshmallows, okay? So you can kind of spread the balloon open like that and have someone else stick the marshmallows down in there for you, okay? This will kind of be a squishier stress ball. These ones might not be ones that you can keep forever because I don't know how well the marshmallows will be, but you can see that they're nice and squishy down in that balloon to protect them, okay? So lots of different things that you can make, get creative. Like I said, if you don't have any of those supplies at home, you can do the lemon squeezing activity, you can Google other ideas, okay? Um, this video will also be up on my webpage, all right? So if you go to the Martin Road um, Elementary School webpage and you search teachers, you will find my name with some other resources on there as well, okay? I hope that you guys are doing well. Have fun with this craft. Obviously, I did not do the best with it because mistakes happen, okay? It's just fun for you to kind of get a little break, do a little stress activity, and kind of get your mind off everything going on, okay? I miss you guys. I hope you are doing well. Bye.